Hi, my name is Jeremy Smart, and I draw comic books. I draw comics like Bunny vs. Monkey. Um, I draw comics like Lushkin. Um, but I've also drawn a comic called Max and Chaffee, which has just come out this month. Um, it's a comic book for younger readers. Max and Chaffee, it's about Max. This is Max, who loves to find things. And Max travels to Animal Island. Uh, this is Animal Island, which is full of animals, funny, silly animals. And on Animal Island, Max hears about a creature called a Chaffee. This is a Chaffee. Uh, it's like a little round rabbit with one and a half ears. Uh, but they're very hard to find, so Max goes on the search for a Chaffee. It's filled with cute characters, uh, picture searches, where you can help the story along, and even bits at the back where you can go back through the story and look for things you might have missed. So what I wanted to do today is show you how to draw Max and Chaffee, uh, in the hope you can go off and draw Max and Chaffee adventures for yourself. This is Max and Chaffee book two. This is out in a couple of months, The Great Cupcake Mystery. But let's start with book one, Welcome to Animal Island, and let's get drawing. Just a reminder, this is what Max looks like, and this is what a Chaffee looks like. So let's start with Max. Uh, first things first, I always draw things in pencil, and then I go over them with ink afterwards. So let's start with Max. So likewise, I always start with a circle for a head whenever I'm drawing. I always start with a head, and it's 99% of the time a circle like that. Uh, then I tend to draw these crossed lines here, which might look a little confusing, but that's how I work out where Max's face is going to fit on Max's head. So, for example, I put the eyes along this little horizontal line, uh, and then I can add a mouth underneath. So it's a big open mouth big smiling mouth. And then I have plenty of forehead up here, uh, which is always nice when you're drawing cute characters. It always makes them look cuter, slightly more babyish perhaps. Um, because then what I want to do is I want to add Max's hair, which comes up like that. So she's got a little side parting um, and a little kind of curve here. So there you can see we have started drawing Max. We've put the face in, we've put the fringe, um, and then Max needs a hat too, big yellow hat. So the hat is a big swooping line across and then up, and then another one here for the peak of the cap. And then we just draw Two big squishy lumps here for the top of that and Max has a feather in the hat so that will go like that. So obviously when we come to ink it we're not going to draw all of these lines we're going to pick which lines we're drawing but this just helps us work out where everything sits on Max's head. Uh, Max has a little dimple in the cheek here uh, and then let's just finish off Max's hair comes around like that and comes around like that. So hopefully you can see we've started drawing Max. Uh, Max's body, very simple. Kind of like a lump under her head. Uh, I'm going to put Max's feet in first because I think Max should be running. So Max's feet are two circles like this, one in front of the body, one behind the body. So it looks like Max's legs are running. Uh, let's draw some arms. So arms, with arms, Max could be doing anything, could have, uh, could be holding the arms up uh, to the side of the body. I think I'm going to do it to the side like this, often when I draw characters running. Draw them to the side so Max's arms are kind of sausages either side connected to the shoulder here but and then I'll add little fingers little dumpy fingers here and little dumpy fingers on this side Max wears a t-shirt let's just define this bit of head 
So Max wears a t-shirt, so there's the sleeve of the t-shirt, there's the other sleeve. And Max also has a little yellow bag here to collect the things that Max finds. So I'm gonna draw a little bag there with a strap. And then Max also wears a body warmer. So underneath the strap, I'm just drawing the detail of the body warmer. So there we have Max running along all the details. Oops, I forgot the zip. There should be a zip at the top of the body warmer. And then just a little shadow underneath Max to show motion, maybe a little dust cloud behind. And now let's draw Chaffee. So Chaffee is a lot easier to draw. Chaffee is, as you can see, a circle with one and a half ears uh, and a big smiling face. So Chaffee, again, we do a circle. You can do the little cross lines that I did here to work out where Max's face sits, but with Chaffee, because it's quite a simple character, uh, I often don't tend to. So instead I will just draw two eyes, dots for eyes, and a mouth. And then the ears, so this ear is always long, this ear is always short, and a little shadow underneath. And there you go, we have Max and Chaffee running along the beach. Uh, sometimes I draw some little kind of exclamation, just to show Max is excited. Um, equally with Chaffee. Chaffee could be saying something. We could draw a little speech bubble here. Chaffees tend to just make noises though. So here's Chaffee going more. And now what I'm gonna do is, I've drawn it all out in pencil. Uh, I'm gonna go over it in ink, but I'm gonna speed this bit up. And there you have it, Max and Chaffee running across Animal Island, uh, looking for things and looking for where they belong. I really hope you've enjoyed drawing Max and Chaffee and I really hope you enjoy the book as well. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye.